Hi, it's Bruce here. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to hone my F10A Suzuki engine. Here we are, ready to do the job. Uh, I've got medium honing stones, uh, Caro in the squirt bottle, and uh, we're going to hone the Suzuki or Marathi bore on the one litre. So first of all, I'm just going to spray some Caro in the bore. I'll start on that one. And if I've got everything right here, we're a bit on the stones. Everything probably set about right. You just got to watch out we don't go too fast through and smack the crank. Um, right to go there, I'd say. Right, now we're going to have a look at the ball. See what we've got. Got to get a, got to get some rag and dry that out a bit. Yeah, let me just clean that out. Get more caro. All right, there we go again. We'll just. Now we're starting to get somewhere. This hatching's not looking too bad. Get out of there, back in line a little bit. Put a bit of rag in there. It's all clean. It's all just a bit rough just to get a bit of an idea of what we're going to end up with. One little place there, the home's not touching. We've still got a bit of a mark in the bore there. Yeah, we can probably go a bit more. A bit more caro. The stone's a bit more of a wash. I'm using the low, the low odor caro. Which is fussing, you don't really like to smell it like me. We've got to work out how we can close them down. Uh, we'll come in the other side which is about there, around about there I'll say. These are only medium stones, so they're not really out to take too much metal out. Just got to get in the right rhythm. Clean, push it out a bit. Carry in there, do the job. Clean rag again, which is not so clean anymore. We've done the other three bores now, so the four cylinders have been honed now. Um, there's, different, there's different ideas on honing. The main idea is to make the rings um, sort of bed in to take the shape of the cylinders. And um, other people will say that there's a theory that the oil lays in the hone marks and actually helps lubricate the top ring as it's, um, as, as it's running in, I guess you'd say. So that's probably the main reasons that you're home. If you're just a new chum to the game and um, you know, you're not too sure about whether you're going to get the right shape pattern on the crosshatch, uh, always start off slow. If you're starting off slow and the stones touch the bottom of the 
like the bottom of the block or they can touch the, the counterweights on the crank, especially if you've got the, you've got to turn the crank around to make sure that the, the journals are out of the way. And on some motors, um, it, it's worse if you have the journals right at the very bottom, then, uh, then the, the, uh, like the weights on the crank might be in the way. So sometimes you've got to go halfway, have the, have the crankshaft sort of laying flat where you've got the journals on one side, the counterweights on the other side, that might give you the most amount of room. And if you're only going slow, uh, you're only using low power on, say, a variable speed drill like this. And if the stones do touch, they can, some, some motors they can touch the bottom just below the bore. But uh, if you're going too quick first up, you can smash the end off the stones. So it's better to go a bit slow. Have a look at what sort of pattern you're getting. Uh, we've used Caro on this job. I've heard some of the arguments always there. Is it best to use Caro or is it best to use CRC or WD-40? Um, once they've been honed, if you're really fussy, uh, you, can get, you can get warm soapy water and a banister brush run around inside there. Um, it's always more difficult if you've got a crank in there. That's why if you would have noticed when we've honed this, we've had the, we've still got the crank and every, the bottom end, the crankshaft's still in there. So we have the cylinders on an angle, so as we're spraying in there and honing, any dirty material is coming, is draining straight out. It's not going in there and laying around the main bearings. And it's the same sort of thing. When you come to really do a good clean up, wipe it all out as best you can. It looks clean, but you'd be surprised. If you run around in there with hot soapy water and a banister brush or a brush, it'll be even cleaner. And you'll clean out all those home marks and that'll all be perfectly cleaned out. But if you have the motor on an angle like that and you're very careful, you might have to even put the hose very carefully down through the top. And have someone help you turn the hose off and on to wash those bores out. And it all gets back to the end, the end finished job is all about how clean everything is and how well you've cleaned everything up and how well everything's put back together carefully. So just take your time, don't stress. All these things take time. If you want the best job, you'll probably take more time. The next video will probably be um, reassembling the bottom end. And uh, thanks very much for watching.